Hello everyone! In this video, we will be discussing the Closed Procedure Assessment. This presentation will include introduction, administration, appropriateness, online tools to help with virtual learning, perspectives, and further ways to use the assessment. Introduction Closed procedure, as stated by Guype and Richards, is a measure used for initially estimating or verifying the instructional reading level. This test is best used for students in upper elementary, middle school, and secondary levels, which includes high school and college. Administration Briefly, a closed passage requires a reader to fill in blanks for words that have been systematically deleted from the written selection. Most often, every fifth word is deleted. To prepare for the test, follow these simple steps. First, select a passage containing 250 to 300 words. Be sure that the passage is straightforward and does not rely on any other text and also doesn't contain many pronouns. Next, keep the first sentence and also the last sentence intact. Next, include deletions starting from the second sentence. Delete words at a consistent interval, for example, every fifth, seventh, or tenth word for a total of 10 deletions. Make sure that students can replace the deleted words with blanks of equal length. You can duplicate the desired number of copies. Also, if the blanks are numbered, prepare an answer sheet with corresponding numbers for students to use in recording their responses. If desired, students can just simply write their responses directly onto the blanks. Here's an example of a closed passage. Notice how the first and last sentences are intact and the blanks are consistent. This one looks like students will fill in the blanks directly. Here are some instructions to give to students while conducting the test. Remind students to read through the entire passage first and then try filling in the blanks. Also, remind students that only one word goes into each blanks. And lastly, it is okay to misspell a word. Also, here are some tips. Make sure that students have practiced the closed passage before conducting the test. This will help students to understand the directions and also prevent students from performing poorly due to unfamiliarity. Next, the test should be easy to read and only contain few deletions. And lastly, make sure that there is a reasonable time limit to the testing period. Appropriateness. Here are the different scores that the students will receive after the assessment. A student will be placed at the independent level if they have a closed score of 50% accuracy or higher. These students were able to read with ease and without any guidance from anyone. This would mean that the student is at an appropriate level for homework assignments and for other independent work. Next, students that scored between 30 to 50% accuracy will be placed in the instructional level. This would mean that the student had a little difficulty with the text. Therefore, the, te the teacher would be advised to use the material for instructional purposes with their guidance when necessary. Lastly, the frustration level would consist of students that scored lower than 30%, which would mean that the material was too challenging for them. Therefore, this material must be avoided. Virtual learning. Here, I will discuss some online materials that teachers can use to conduct this assessment. First is Quiz Is. This would be appropriate for upper elementary students because it is very engaging and also has a lot of fun components to it. For older students, Google Forms would be a great idea. Google Forms has a selection where you can create a blank quiz. You can also access the results. Perspectives. 
The benefits of the closed procedure are the following. It is easy. It is not expensive and it also provides helpful information that will help the teacher know about the reader's use of syntactic and semantic cues during silent reading. When there are benefits, there will also be some sort of disadvantages. First, the effectiveness of the assessment is not clearly established. It has been noted that teachers need to observe other dimension of the reading process. The closed procedure is too simple to diagnose all of the reading developments that the student is going through. So it will be helpful to use a closed procedure as a supplement rather than a final assessment. Lastly, we will discuss other ways to use the closed procedure. First, the closed procedures are very useful across many subjects. So looking at this example, you can see that the passage is talking about George Washington. The closed procedure can be used for history, math, science, and many other subjects. This is helpful especially when testing for vocabulary understanding or comprehension in certain areas. ESL or English language learners can thrive through these passages. The fill in the blanks would be great sentence starters that students can practice. Also, the students can reiterate some of the vocabulary or comprehension through these passages. Lastly, teachers can make this assessment into a collaborative work. Students can work together in small groups to fill in the blanks together. This will help in scaffolding struggling students through other students in the group that can help with the assessment. And that is it for my video. Thank you for watching. To end, here's a beautiful quote. Literacy is one of the greatest gifts a person can receive by Jen Zielinski. Have a great one.